Hey gals, I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything. I'm really sorry. It's just work and my personal life has got me going crazy. Um, I'm having a bit of issues with a certain family member um, and it's got me really depressed. So I've just been trying to either, I've either been crying about it or been trying to throw myself into work to forget about it. I've just been trying to do whatever to cope with what's going on but you know whatever life goes on you have to you have to deal with whatever happens and just as best as you can so um right now i am on my way to the doctor um well to torrance memorial to go get my blood drawn as a part of being a gastric bypass patient you are going to have to go get your labs done uh, I believe it was first the the first two weeks out. I got my blood drawn. Then it was a month. Then it was three months. So this is my third month. This is my third time getting my blood drawn. Um, the last time, if you guys saw my video with my doctor reviewing it, everything was cool. I was losing weight fine and. Um, he did want me to kick it up a notch. Um, he wanted me to be at 165, I believe, when I got back to see him again. And I'm going to see him in about 10 days. I am not at that goal. I am at 180. Yeah, 180. So, I'm 15 pounds shy of what he wanted me to be. Here we go. That right there, if you can see, it's starting to bruise up because I don't know why she didn't do it like she didn't do it here where like most of the time they get the blood she did it here on the side I don't know why but it hurt like a motherfucker it really hurt um, and my video like my camera my phone because I do it on my phone it stopped recording right when she put the needle in you couldn't hear me go ah. <laughs> but it hurt anyways um, yeah good times they take out I believe one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten maybe eleven vials of blood um and i'm not allowed to have any vitamins or anything the night before or food until i get this done um and usually i have to do it two weeks before i go see my doctor so i got all that done and then when i got to work i got a very awesome surprise i lost my job today <laughs> um yeah, I'm got, I got laid off, and so it looks like I'm going to have more time to do this, right? Um, it's funny because I just got back from vacation, and I kind of suspected that it was coming, but mm, what are you going to do? It, it happens when you have startups, and I was lucky enough to be working there for almost two years now. So I'm not bitter, and it was on good terms, Um there's no hard feelings, of course. I mean, like I said, I took the risk of doing it and I got a lot of experience out of it. 
although the last four months were very, 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 very stressful. And I told my boss that I didn't want to feel like I failed at something, but it wasn't my company. It wasn't my doing um, for the reason that it's it's closing. You know, it was a decision from the financial backers. So what are you going to do? You know, I am okay with it. So that was a curveball, I guess. I wasn't expecting it. I knew it was coming, but I wasn't expecting it this soon. But now I, I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, other than that, I have been dealing with a lot of, how do you say, like personal issues that came up with um, my sister, who is not speaking to me right now. And that has got me, that I think has affected me more than my job has affected me because I love my family and she was someone that I, at least I consider myself close to her. I don't know if she considered herself close to me, but I considered myself really close to her because I told her everything. And sometimes she did judge me and stuff, but you know, what can I say? I'm a very forgiving person and even when she did judge me on some de decisions that I've made in my past, I still would, you know, turn the other cheek and like, be like, okay, she judged me, whatever. She said mean things, whatever. I still want a relationship with her. This is different. She's upset at me. And by all means, she has the right to be upset, I guess. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But, you know, the fact that she is now not wanting me to hang out with my nieces and nephews. Well, my nieces and my godson. And she is not going to be a part of my wedding or my engagement party and she was supposed to be my maid of honor it, it kind of really has me very depressed so work was kind of helping me deal like at least throw myself into it and not think about it as much but now that I don't have that I don't know how I'm going to deal with it now I said very early on if you've started watching my videos before that I wasn't an emotional eater that I really didn't care for food or anything like that the one thing I am, though, and I have been always, is an emotional drinker. So whenever I felt sad or whenever I felt happy or whatever, I'd go have drinks with friends. And this is going to be very interesting on how I'm going to deal with this kind of depression with my job and, like, my sister. Because I don't know if I have a choice. You know, like, liquor doesn't really do much for me anymore, and I can't really drink that much anyways. <laughs> And I can't really eat that much anyways. And food isn't comforting to me at all. Like, there's, like, no feeling of satisfaction when I eat or anything like that. No matter what it is, um, I always end up feeling kind of bloated or sick or whatever. So, I don't know how this is all going to turn out. I'm a little bit worried about it. Um, about how I'm going to deal with this and how I'm going to keep myself cheered up and not as depressed because that happens it's natural to to be depressed for a little while after you lose your job or if you're having a fight with someone but now like this is totally different like territory for me I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it besides talking about it and I don't really have a lot of friends so the only people that I can talk to is like my brother or his wife or my my boyfriend or my friend Francis and that's pretty much it. Oh, and you guys. But you guys, I can't really go into a lot of detail. Just know that there's chaos in my life right now. Whenever something happens, whenever something bad happens, it usually, what is what is the saying? When it rains, it pours. Yeah, it's pouring right now. But I, I guess I don't really have any other choice but to deal with whatever's happening. Whether it be a positive way or completely walking away and just giving up on a relationship you know it's I have to make the decision for myself and no one else so yeah the the crazy thing this is the other crazy thing is that I I can be a bit cynical sometimes and one of my biggest things that um I always brought like was 
in the back of my head when I started my relationship with Ron was because he he made a significant like amount of money more like more mo money than I did and by a lot okay so when we first met there was that imbalance and he would pay for everything and I didn't feel right and I didn't want to feel like he had the upper hand financially so I worked hard and tried to find a better job and whatever and I was holding my own in our relationship everything was 50 50 we're both like contributing to our savings and all that and now that I I'm in this position I hope that I don't completely freak out because he's totally cool with this he's totally like don't worry about it we're gonna make it you know whatever you know I'm gonna take care of you and that freaks me the fuck out because I don't want anybody taking care of me so yeah even though duh, I'm going to find for unemployment and start looking for another job. Um, yeah, I, I, this is the first time that I've been unemployed and been in a relationship. So this is this is going to be interesting. It could be frustrating. It could be it could put a strain on our relationship. I don't really know how that's going to happen, like how it's all going to go down. So I'm a little nervous about it. But like I said, I'm going to try to stay positive. But if you guys see me on here posting frequently and super sad, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So I did want to mention one thing that I was doing. Oh, my God. Look at my hair. Oh, my God. I forgot to mention that. This might be a long video. My hair is not falling out as much. I don't know if it's because I'm seven months out already or if it's because I've been doing my protein shots, which I've been drinking religiously two a day um, for a couple of months now. I don't know if, I don't know what it is. I'm thinking a combination of all, everything that my hair like has not really fallen out as much as it used to. I don't pull out like globs of hair anymore. It's, it's very few strands. I think it went back to what it was before. And I've noticed that there is some growth going on in my hair. So I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited because I just, that was really weighing on me. It was really, really like losing my hair. Um, other thing, uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit more self-conscious about this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens. I'm starting to feel some self-conscious about it, but but I'm still wearing tank tops like this, and I'm still, it's hot out. And I'm in California, it's hot, you know? And if somebody catches me with, a, like, a wiggle, I, you know what? That, I saw this video, and this girl was saying how these are badges of honor, and through all the hard work and all she's been through, it just... It's a reminder of how far she's come. And I can totally understand and relate to that and agree with that. So I'm not going to hide this just because I'm afraid of a stare or two of whatever. I, whatever. I mean, when I was bigger, I used to wear pretty re revealing clothing. So if I wasn't ashamed then of all, all of this, why should I be ashamed of this? So I... I'm not hiding it, and I don't plan to hide it. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not, like, a little bit self-conscious about it, because I am. But I don't want to feel ashamed of it either. I mean, it's my body. So, whatever. I don't know if I am going to get surgery for this later on, if it continues to be this way. It might get worse. Um... The surgeries that I've seen to remove this leaves you scars here. So I don't know if I want to do that. Probably not. Anyways. Anyway. So this is called Protein to Go. Um, it comes in a five pack. And it's by Designer Way. I was actually taking this. Um, and it's not too sweet. And it, if you want to flavor up your water, it has... 50 calories, yeah, I know that sounds like a lot, but it has 10 grams of protein as well and one gram of sugar. When I got tired of drinking just plain water, I would pop one of these, shake it up, and there you go. Now, the only thing I can, I can say is it dissolves better in room temperature water. So if you want, go ahead and 
mix it into your water and then once it's completely dissolved then you can stick it in the freezer and try to get it a little bit colder but if you do the other way around it's not going to dissolve as well but I'm a fan I liked it I mean I haven't bought another pack yet but this is my last pack so after I finish this one I'm probably going to buy more from Amazon um, and that's really all I have for you guys I, I'm really sorry that it's not a more positive video but I just have things going on in my life that I'm just not I'm not a very happy person right now. I'm trying to keep it positive. And this whole job thing, like, that's not really freaking me out as or anything like that. I'm not really scared. I can handle it. I can find another job or whatever. What has me, like, super extremely, like, sad and just depressed is, is, is my relationship with my sister right now. Because the past year all I've been doing is you know trying to help her try, like worrying about her and the kids and trying to be a better aunt trying to be a good like godmother to my nephew and that's all I've been doing is worrying about her and trying to figure out how I could help and I'm not a perfect person. I, I make mistakes. I, although in this situation, I don't know how I made a mistake. But she sees it as an attack on her, I guess. And she just decided to just completely cut me, cut me out of her life. And it's very hurtful. Very, very hurtful. Before I start crying. Um... Yeah, it's, it's a big deal for me because I never really thought I was going to get married. I, and things, like, and this has stayed with me forever, is I, my sister once told me that I was going to end up alone and that I was never going to find anyone. This is when we were little. We didn't have such a good relationship when we were little. And every time I met someone or... A relationship didn't work out I that would always be the first thing that I think about is my sister was right I was I was gonna I'm gonna be alone you know and just this this the fact that I found someone that I can com that I fully committed to because I used to be a serial dater and had a lot of boyfriends and I wouldn't settle down with anyone, you know, because I didn't completely trust anyone. But the fact that I found someone like Ron that loves me for me and that loved me for who I was. I mean, of course, he was attracted to me and all that. But I, I mean, even when I gained 60 pounds during our, our the first half of our relationship, he never once made me feel bad about my weight. So, now that I'm losing weight, you know, I don't feel like he's treating me any different. He's still treating me like he always has. And it's amazing to me that I found someone like this. And I really wanted to share it with my whole family and my closest friends. And I'm excited to meet his family and all that. And just the fact that I'm not going to have my sister there is really really hurtful so I'm dealing with that right now I know that maybe she might change her mind later on but the hurt is always gonna be there oh, I don't want to do this <laughs> anyways um hopefully my next video will be a lot more cheerful I'm going to try my hardest to throw myself into my health, um, improving my job skills, <laughs> updating my resume. Um, Ron is still insisting that we go to the gym. Oh, and just FYI, I never made it to a class when I had the free pass because their schedule was at 6 o'clock and I got out of work late or whatever. So before the pass was, it was almost over. I wanted to go to a class and I didn't make it. But I did go a couple of times to the gym during that free pass. And I liked the gym. 
Um, I like their schedule. I like their new equipment. I like the energy there. I mean, it was, it was a good gym. And Ron is insisting that we sign up, so I'm probably going to sign up this week. And now that I am not working, I'll probably end up going to the gym a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry if this video got really long and just a lot is going on. Um, yeah, I will see you guys probably next week.